Hey, welcome to 94.3 Radio 1, One World, your station. Oh my gosh, this is meant to be radio, but we've got cameras all around, because guess who's in the studio? Woohoo! Raja Kumari. Hello, welcome right back. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back. Well, the last time we spoke was at the start of the pandemic. Clearly, you've been busy. Oh, yes. Talk to us about the time away. Um... Wow, okay. Uh, yes, I've been very busy. I think anybody that's been following me on Instagram has seen kind of the journey, what we've been going through, you know, in the beginning when uh, during the pandemic trying to make that content, you know, alone in California. But returning to India, I'm back in my power. I'm, right. I'm back in my, in my zone. I'm back in my fashion, you know, how much I love it. And um, I'm back with a new project and it's independent this time. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. And I have to say this, you are glowing. Thank you. You are. I mean, you know, not just the get up and the things that you do, but your little accessory that you have here. <laughs> Please talk about him. Oh, love Kumar. So we got a little micro Frenchie in our lives. I was actually like, I kept saying like, I just need like a companion. I need somebody that's waiting for me at home for yeah. me. And I just wanted like a little, little friend. And you know what? He's been helping me handle all the pressure, you know, being the CEO of my own company and, you know, running everything has increased some of the demand but as long as he's sitting in my lap everything is okay we have to talk about being the boss b oh yes. shall we say the hbic of my for digital life. it's boss bitch yes but <laughs> yeah talk to us about that yeah you know the next project actually i've been saying for a few like years you know because my project my album has been held back for a good two years i think right. probably the the span of my last record deal i would say wow. my entire project has been held back yep. um for what reason, we don't know. Lots of excuses. But I'm more of about solutions than excuses. Yes, yeah, way to go. And, um, you know, I wanted to put out my full-length album, The Bridge, which is a musical... <laughs> he was fretted. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Frenchie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, a stinky. He let a Frenchie fly. Yeah, Sorry. Well, stinky baby. Oh, you're so small. Okay, yeah. Back to what we're saying. Um, yeah. yeah, I wanted to put out my full length album, The Bridge, and it's it's actually a bridge of different genres, different places that I want to go to with my music. Yeah. Um, and it being delayed so long, it's actually funny because this other chapter came through, which is HBIC, which is this aggressive, you know, head B in charge. Mm. If you're going to beat me, head bitch in charge. It is what it is. Um, and these are like the records that people know me for, I think, also. Yeah. They're very aggressive. They're like, they're kind of the records I had to make in order to give myself the power yeah. to make the changes I had to make to become independent. So these right. are like the songs that inspired me. Yeah, I mean, like you said, very empowering stuff. And it's always been about, you know, not just visual, because yes. you are, you're quite a visual character, yes. <laughs> but also on stage and also the lyrics. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking like bindis and bangles yes. and stuff. Also reasserting, I think, your brownness in the whole, uh, you know, larger scheme of things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, talk to us about the bridge connecting, you know, the Desi Indian. Are you Indian American, American Indian? Have you found, have you found your, your safe space? No, I think my music is my safe space. I think that I created that for myself because, you know, um, everybody has opinions and unfortunately I may not be accepted in America as even amongst the diaspora for some reason in really? some ways. And then in India, you know, there's always that group of people that will never really um, give me my accolades or give me my flowers because I'm American. So I'm not really Indian. So uh -huh. I've become very used to not, you know, fitting into the places that people, you know, want me to be in right. so the music has has been that safe place for me and right. i think more than ever there's so much like confidence in it i know that's crazy for me to say because i think that's my brand people are like how are you so confident <laughs> but um i think now it's just you know i have to say it like this if you're signed to one of the top rappers in the world yeah okay nas mm. you know growing up in hip-hop and you know that's one of the best rappers in the world and i went through a string of record deals you know, Epic Records in 2015, I was signed to L.A. Reid, yeah. I ended up going to Sylvia Rhone, I was signed to, I got a deal with Capital at the end, you yep. know, I was with Universal, yep. with Mass Appeal. Some people have a problem getting one record deal, I got five, you know, like yeah. I've been through a lot of record deals. Yep. But in every situation, there was always, we were hoping somebody would be the one to open the door for me. Mm -hmm. And I think when I signed to Nas as a rapper, as a female artist, you know, Nas has never given a female a cosign. Right. You know, he's never signed anyone. Right. So to be the only female that, that, you know, he signed, 
you know, that at that time I was like, oh my God, this is it. I'm going to make it like, this is the one. And then for that, even not to be enough, that cosign wasn't enough. Divine's mm -hmm. cosign wasn't enough. Nas's cosign wasn't enough to open the door for me. Right. It became, you know, very, became very clear to me that I needed to support myself and it mm -hmm. was going to only happen with me doing it because even the greatest rapper of all time, you know, couldn't do it for me. So it yeah. just gave me the power to, you know, be the yeah. HBIC. Well, I, and, and you are the HBIC. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can, I can see that. Uh, and so you've taken, you've taken on the reins yourself yes. and you're doing this all on your own. This is your first independent release. Sure is. Um, so that's Under Godmother Wonderful. Records. Godmother Records. Yes. The name is, thank you. The name is because I have to keep God first. Yep. And I realized like, you know, the last few years being here and what I envision for the future in India is that we need more music education. We yep. need more artist development mm -hmm. and we 1000% need more support for female artists. Absolutely. So if that is what I can provide through yep. like, you know, my whole whatever empire I'm going to build, it's like I really want to make sure I reach back and support female artists and not just rappers, all kinds of musicians, like, yeah. all, you know, singer songwriters, you know, mm -hmm. pop artists, like we have the potential and, and the talent in this country Absolutely. to be competitive worldwide, yeah. Yeah. but we just need the quality control and that's what I can provide. All right. Well, speaking of quality control, your music yeah. video is out to your lead single. Woohoo! <laughs> It's out. And firstly, the song Made in India, it's kind of, you know, taking it back to the 90s. Alicia Chennai, yes. uh, you know, came out with it. It was a huge blockbuster in the Indian pop circuit. And I remember that very, very clearly. I know her very, very well uh, at that point in time, my husband as well. So it was huge. And here you are reimagining <laughs> it for us today. Yes. And then you, you just casually thrown in like a Madhuri <laughs> in the quotient, just to be sure. Just in case. Yeah. Just so, in case. Tell us about it. You know, this is, it's, it's really amazing that this is actually the first song that's coming out from my project because it's really tongue in cheek. Like, yeah. you know, to be like, well, you know, all around the world, no matter where I'm from, mm -hmm. I'm made in India, yeah. you know, like it's, it's come to this point now where, like I was talking about earlier, where both sides, if you don't want to claim me, then the rest of the world sees my face and they know that I'm made in India. This is yeah. what I do. But you know, the song for me, actually it's so funny because I heard it as a child and in America we did not get a lot of exposure, you know? Right. So we would only get um, one morning show, Saturday morning, 10 a.m., Namaste America. <laughs> Shout out Namaste America for holding it down for the entire American population. <laughs> yeah, represent. And uh, they would have like this one hour show and we'd mm. get news, we'd get all the Bollywood commercials, we'd know what was coming, we'd see Madhuri. Yeah. We'd be like, oh my God, Madhuri is in that, <clears throat> oh my God, Madhuri is in that outfit. And uh, then, you know, we would get like one music video that crossed over, you know, yeah. I remember Raghav was in there once, <laughs> you know, so yeah. like, this is where I really was like, that yeah. was, for me was like, I want to make it, you know, like I want to be on Namaste America, you know, like that was, that was important. And, uh, you know, I'd seen it as a kid and then, you know, I was really in my dance career. Yeah. So, you know, my dance is something that influences my music so much, but mm. it's so interesting because when I went back and watched the video, yep. you know, in my adulthood, yeah. I was like, is this entire video my aesthetic? Like, is, did I see this as like a seven year old and then it implanted in yeah, my yeah, mind? Yeah. And when and I manifest itself. Yeah, like today. when I wanted to be a pop star, it was like Alicia Chennai. Like, it was just like, <laughs> it's just like, does that what happened? You know? So I just, I just oh, loved that. When I went back and watched it, I was like, you know, I relate to this so yeah. much now, then, forever. And mm. I don't know. I just think like there's this, there's this thing happening in, in music where about bringing back records. Yep. You know, but sometimes they're just done and they're just redone completely as written. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of problem with, like, sampling and not crediting. And Absolutely. I just really wanted to do it differently, you know. And um, for me, I think an interpolation yep. is something really exciting. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that don't know what interpolation is, it's basically... The opposite of when, extrapolation. Yeah, <laughs> basically, you, you borrow certain very memorable parts of the yeah. songs. But then you make it your own. So yep. in my version, it's new production you know, new verses, new melodies yep. for all of that, but mm -hmm. I've borrowed the chorus because it's iconic. Okay. And, uh, Let's yeah. have you sing it. Come on. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> made in India, made in India, you can see I'm made in, in India. India. Oh, all around the world, no matter where I'm from, they gon' know I'm made in India. No, brace it, the guess. I'm going. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm that not kidding. That is awesome. That is awesome. And let me just say, you've uh, you produced this one yourself. You've also, you know, worked in the music video yourself. Yes. I mean, that's brownie points right there. That's like you it's know. like the biggest art project I've been a part of. Yeah. Like I realize my my life is art projects, but when yeah. we were standing on set. And, you know, we were looking at, we called it MD's grand setup. That was like her set. Like, no one else can be filmed on it but MD. Like, it was like so intense in, yeah, in yeah. the crew. And I just saw it, you know, come to life and saw her standing there and the lights turning on. Yeah. I was like, wow, I'm, this was in our mind. This was yep. an imagination. And now MD is standing there and this for this beautiful, like, all white chakra. So, you know, I'm just here to make art projects. Whoever wants to sponsor my art projects, I'm ready. Yep, Godmother. I'm ready. The yes. Godmother is ready. Yeah, but shout out to Metro Shoes, though, because... Oh! I'm just going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to say it. You know Talk why? Talk plug! No, I'm going to say it, because it's not just about, like, someone paying me. It's like, yeah. there are three women. There are sisters yeah, yeah, that build yeah, a yeah, huge yeah. company. Yeah. And they looked back to me and saw that I was making my big, big first move, and they were like, let's support her. Okay. And it's more than, you know, just brand endorsement it's like that's women reaching back and I hope that that happens more well I just think that you're on a on a great wicket because you're on this you know you're you're empowering you're looking out for the women you're representing brown it. skin you're you know taking India to the next level and I just think you represent all good things thank you are we ready to play a game yes okay sure. so right. are you ready let's test your desi quotient ah, okay me. okay if uh, if I say pani you say puri <laughs> Easy. Yes, easy. Okay, let's do Bindi's and Bengals. Mm -hmm. uh, Salvar with a Kamis. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I see something different going on here, though. Uh, this is this is like a, this is very different. Streetwear, sorry. Nice. Okay. Nor black, nor white. Okay. The first line of our national anthem. Janaganamana. Nice one. Do you want to sing it loud? Janaganamana dinayaka jaya he. That wasn't my real singing voice. Please don't judge me. I was doing like a character. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys just get audio. Which character? Just curious. This is an Indian character. <laughs> okay. Spankaj. Sa a sambar with? Sambar with Idli. Ah. What's the three-wheeler public transport called? Auto rickshaw. Mm. Rickshaw, please. I was about to say, how do you hail one down? Rickshaw. <laughs> That's a, little a little louder, maybe. Uh, rickshaw! Right. No, I just kind of give him the eye. Hey. <laughs> Juhu? Juhu? All right. Okay. Your, fa your favorite Indian rapper? My favorite Indian rapper. Oh, rappers. I like so many. I mean, they're so dope. Why did Badshah pop in? Oh my God, he must have got me. <laughs> I, like, I like everybody, you know? I, I'm really supportive of, of the men in the scene. Yeah. Badshah is super dope. I've been working a lot with the whole Kalamkar crew, like Rough Thar, you know, yeah. obviously I have. Oh, they're doing some great stuff. Yeah, man. Me and oh Krishna God. have a song together on my EP. Really? Yes. Okay, so um, uh, the first one that comes to mind when you hear India. I mean, India. East or West, India is the best. Okay. Uh, and Coke in India is called? Uh, a thumbs up. Bro. Yay! <laughs> With no B. Please don't put a yeah, B in the thumb. Thumbs it's up. thumbs because it's the thumb thumbs. itself is the B. Yes, that's it's hidden. Right. It's hidden information. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You All right. So now, uh, let's talk about the EP as okay. we wrap up. Uh, let's do it. Uh, you know, how many songs can we expect and what's what's in it? What's this the juice? HBIC is like a collection of aggressive songs and a sea of male ego. You know, it's me <laughs> asserting my dominance. And, nice. uh, you know, it's really, it's, it's about like, I think that when women are unapologetically just confident and they say what they want, sometimes it, it strikes people yeah. with the wrong chord. But mm -hmm. I want to set that tone that like, you know, we can speak for what we want. And I hope that inspires other young female artists to also speak sure. for what they want. Yeah. Um, but the record is five tracks long. There's a record on there called Manifest mm -hmm. that is my, my story. And there's no choruses. It's full bars for all my fans that are wondering, when am I going to be rapping again? Yeah. This is the EP that I'm rapping. Okay, nice. it's definitely right. crazy drill record with Krishna. You know that was that's a lot. Of, and then Shaw rules on the project. Okay. So we've had Konhetu, so we're revisiting our 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 duo is uh, you know it's yeah. renowned her little duo. So we've made some music in you know in Bandra in the, in the house. A lot mm -hmm. of these songs were made in the house. Of course, that's, that's the where other things thing. happen in Bandra, in the house, yeah, in the, in the bedroom, house. in the house. Yeah, 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 way, yep, way. yep. <laughs> Four triple oh, five oh. You know uh, oh, nice yes. one, nice one. Yes. That's a shout out to all the Bandra folk. Yes. You'd get it. <laughs> Pin code fifty. Yeah. Okay, say hey, listen. Thank you so much. Thanks this has been me. fantastic. 
We love having you over. We just love what you're about. Thank uh, you. you know, good luck with everything. Thank it's, you for It's going to rock. Thank and you. thank you for bringing love over. Little Lalu. I just want to thank everybody that's been uh, listening to Made in India. And for everybody that has been supportive, you know, like it's been a long time to get this music out. And, you know, I really want to say that, you know, the reason I wrote this song also is because when I go around the world and, you know, what I'm standing tall because of the platform India has given me. Yeah. And they've given me so much confidence. So when I say I'm made in India, it means I'm really made here. And when I go and do the things that I'm about to do, now that I'm free, yes. now that I have control, yep. um, just know that it's it's for India. Yep, standing on the shoulder of giants. Yes. Thank you, my dear. It was Thank fantastic. You. Thank you so much.